Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3, when we last left off. Uh, funny enough, we were using the old version of this emulator. This emulator's just been updated, I've downloaded the experimental version, and uh, I don't like doing that, I don't like recording from an experimental update of an emulator, but holy balls, they've added some cool shit, especially when it comes to the VMU management, uh, we can actually um, manage them now, which is good. So I did actually save uh, a game here to test it. Usually with emulators, uh, well, <sighs> I say usually, they're all different. But one thing that's always bugged me about this emulator is the VMU saving has been a bit strange. Like sometimes you're, uh, I fired this emulator up to find that like all of my saves are gone um but that doesn't really matter because we have save states but it is nice to have actual saves as well now with this emulator you can't add more than four memory cards four memory cards is the most you can ever have uh which uh, was kind of unfortunate but it doesn't matter anymore because we can now export and remove saves to different files and have a whole file of um, our save games for like every Dreamcast game that we're playing and when you're playing that particular game you can just inject that save back into the memory card and it's all gravy. They've also added a few other little bits and pieces as well like way too much to go into here but the sound uh, system that they use, the sound emulation is so much better uh, and yes I have tried um, Skies of Arcadia, which had really off sound. Uh, now it's perfect. So happy days. This is experimental. There are a few graphical glitches in Skies of Arcadia, but it's almost perfect. Uh, anyway, let's go back to the game you came for. Uh, oh, we can have custom configs now. Um, there's a few extra bits and pieces. Oh, there's so much. This emulator is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Anywho, let's go, shall we? And let me actually set up my sound properly. Uh, I'm going to sound like a little bit weird today. Uh, I am like absolutely off my face on painkillers and stuff. And it's really starting to make me a bit weird, I think. I uh, spent about six hours. That's not true. Spent about two hours this morning trying to get hold of my doctor to get some um, antibiotics. Oh yeah, I remember where we were. Uh, that didn't go very well. Um, still waiting, so that's fun. Um, what have we got here? So we've got some nemesis busting rounds, which I actually forgot about this. You can't actually use the enhanced ammo with the Eagle 6.0. Uh, I totally and utterly forgot about that, and it really fucking sucks. You also can't use the enhanced shotgun shells in the better shotgun that we get from Nemesis, which really fucking sucks. But it's okay, because you can have a standard weapon, um, and uh, you can have the enhanced weapon, I suppose, for different roles, blah, 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 blah. So it's not the end of the world. I suppose it's the game's way of making the original like handgun and the original shotgun still relevant, even if you're playing on hard mode and doing a nemes nemesis busting run. Um, also, to answer H's question, can you legitimately fight Nemesis uh, without getting him stuck and glitching him out? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, it is absolutely 100% possible. However, in my opinion, it is extremely difficult. Uh, like, you know, if I have five or six goes, I can do it. But doing it like perfectly every time in a one shot kind of run, 
yeah, that's way way out of my skills so unless i want to sit here and edit loads and loads of footage and failed attempts and stuff like that um you know there are people basically you have to master the dodge system and i don't like the dodge system i don't think many people like the dodge system in this game it just it's some people can get it down to a t where they can get it to work absolutely perfectly every single time I'm not one of these people. I can get it to work 7, 60 to 70% of the time, but that's not good enough to fight Nemesis. Um, we will discover though. Right, let's go down this way first because there is something we've actually forgotten down here. There is um, a nice little juicy item down here that I want. Yeah, see this door here? There we go. We need to activate it by going through there. Walking this way round, which we never actually did in this playthrough. Come on, you bastard. Get up. Yes. Nice bit of head splodge action. Uh, there's also, like, I, it's not really an Easter egg, but it's something that you can miss. That uh, When I was playing yesterday with this game a little bit, uh, I actually forgot about. So let's go back through here. Again, this is totally optional, it's just wasting a load of time, but I want to do it. Oh god, I can't even remember what I said what I'm doing, Jesus. Don't take too many painkillers, kids. Right, let's go back through here again. Oh, I fucked it up, it's not going to happen now. I don't think. Hang on, let's experiment. Let's experiment with this. She's not going to spawn, is she? Because I've killed too many zombies. I think so. Yeah, this is what I mean by it's an easter egg. Of sorts. I think because we've killed the zombies. She's not going to spawn. Which means I'm going to load the stake. Because I want to show this. Uh, I don't know if I showed this off in my original Let's Play. Um, I am reading everybody's comments and stuff as they come through. Uh, I am getting to them. I was hoping to spend most of today uh, recording because it is Monday, but no, so she's not going to spawn. Okay, cool, right. I know what I've done wrong here, I think. But that didn't happen. Uh, I've got a friend coming down later to bring me some of this like super uber cream that he's going on about. That sounds iffy, doesn't it? Uh, that he used when he had an infected now, so we'll see how that's going. Uh, right. Yeah, these are our nemesis busters. We've got 34 rounds here. Uh, doesn't seem like an, a lot, but that's enough to take him down. Uh, we are going to fight nemesis legitimately in a minute. Just, I just want to show you like how it can be done and stuff like that. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 challenging. It's not like nemesis in the new game where you know he's. He's basically pretty easy, to be fair, compared to this. Uh, especially on normal and hard. Um, harder difficulties, he's a little bit difficult. I mean, all you've got to do is to stun him in the new game, to drop him down, is to just throw a grenade at his feet, and that's it. He's down for a bit. But, 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 big juicy but. Uh, one thing with Nemesis... Okay, so to get her to spawn, what we could actually do is just go this way I think without killing the zombies yeah so uh, in the new game uh, he doesn't stop following you until certain points now I know spoilers and all that a lot but you know it's an old ass game now and he's not, they're not really spoilers but obviously in this game when he's following you you can take him out and once you've downed him twice and essentially defeated him and got his loot he's then out for the count he'll leave you alone until the next Come on. Come on. There she is. Right, she's spawned now. Okay. Hey, you. Right, let's go take these zombies out because we don't need them. Right, let's dodge you back. Yeah, that's the dodge that you need to get good at. And, I, you know, I can do it, but I'm nowhere near as proficient as you realistically need to be. There we go. Shotgun shells for zombies is always a good time. Right, nice. Now we need to run this way. 
past this door, which hasn't actually happened yet. It's very annoying, actually, to get this door to trigger. But we will. Just because there's some gunpowder in there for the shotgun. Gunpowder C, which I want. Uh, I don't really need to kill these guys, to be honest. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So now, if we come through here, there's this dead woman that we saw running. And there's a zombie that spawned here. Ooh, to you too, buddy. We can examine her. It just says she's dead. She doesn't have any loot or anything. And, um... Interestingly, like, you could leave and come back and her body's still here. I did wonder if eventually she turns into a zombie. Maybe she does. I don't know. Anyway, let's go try and get this door to trigger. Now, it might seem, like, stupid that we've killed all of these zombies. Uh, basically, just to get some gunpowder. There we go. We've activated it once. Now we have to go through this door back out and back through the other way to get him to activate. But bearing in mind, you know, we've spent like, I don't know, six shotgun cartridges, standard shotgun cartridges, to potentially get eight enhanced shotgun cartridges, which is a good trade, in my opinion. And we've seen the uh, the woman that gets murdered. Uh, I did think for a while, like, if you could save her, but you can't. Hey, friend. Oh, look. Oh, that was a bad shot. Uh, I think we're out of ammo. Yeah, we are. Bad shot, bad bite. No, we're not. Oh, you. I oh, whiffed that. Yeah, that woman. That female zombie. She's down there. But, if you go over there, her body will still be there. That's re Okay, that's really interesting. Um, right, let's go. We've wasted too much time on this already. Uh, 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 nah, we'll, we'll leave that. We'll, we won't mix that up just yet. We don't need the shotgun shells yet, so we're not going to bother. We'll wait until we've got like a full um, three of them before we mix them up. Uh, we want to go up, don't we? Yeah. Because now you might as well um, mix up as many pots of powder as possible, to be honest. Because there's no further bonuses for doing them individually. Ooh. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow it out your ass, boys. Okay, cool. Not bad. We'll take it. Yeah, kind of annoyed that I got bit by that zombie. Totally and utterly whiffed that. And yes, that was entirely 100% my fault. Uh, I thought we was out of ammo. We were not out of ammo, apparently. Uh, okay, let's drop the reloading tool back. Let's drop this powder back. Let's get you. You. Oh, no, don't want you. But we do want you. Uh... Right. Yeah. Okay. Because we've got to fight Nemesis up here. Now, this is like a really optional battle. Uh, we're going to do him legitimately. Just to, to show you that it can be done. And, you know, like, I'm not going to say fighting him legitimately is not fun. Because it is. It's a lot of fun. And I, I do think it's the best way to do it. But... It ain't easy, Chief, and I think I've gone the wrong way. I mean, to be 100% honest with you... Uh, it's not as hard as I'm making it out to be either. Right, yeah, that's the way to the police station. You know, he's not that hard, especially if you don't care about um, going through loads and loads of healing items. If you're not bothered about that, then, you know, uh, if you're happy to just use up all of your um, uh, FA sprays and things, then, yeah, he's, he's kind of a joke. 
But if you like me and have some like strange mental block against using F8 sprays unless it's really really necessary for no reason other than I just don't like using F8 sprays. I don't know why it's, it, it actually does annoy me. Uh, right, where are we at? We're good. Because realistically, if you have two F8 sprays uh, or two full hills, you're probably not going to have much of an issue with him. And uh, enhancing on that point as well, if you've got the enhanced ammo, you're really not going to have like many issues at all. Right, let's just whiff all of that away. There we go. Alright, let's go. Yeah, let's just stand here, Jill. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, we should get. Uh oh. Haha. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, two choices here. So, if we climb up, we suffer no penalty. If we jump down, I think we have to fight. Um, I think we have a battle. I can't really remember, to be honest. Okay. But we're not going to worry about that too much. Uh, now. Now, 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 now. Okay, there is one. Yeah, because Nemi's going to appear here. And we're going to fight him in this corridor. Uh, we're just going to have to hope that the uh, gods of dodging smile on us today. Unfortunately, I can't actually see my OBS window because it's just slightly off. And I've just noticed I haven't got my borders on either. Well, that's stupid. Uh, let's put the borders on just because it just neatens everything up, doesn't it? Uh, okay. That's because I've been playing with my emulators. Okay. Yeah, I've been fiddling around with like loads of emulators and um, I've been playing some Xbox 360 stuff as well. So, sometimes for those things that support proper widescreen, I have to turn off my uh, emulator, uh, my board. Oh, no, 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 we don't want to go that way. That's the way to the power station. We need to go this way. I mean, I could add those borders in my editing software, but it's not that important, is it? Right. Uh, yeah, so we want to go up through here. We want to save it in the save spot. Because, but yeah, this could, this, this, hmm, this, this could be delicate. This could be a little bit delicate. Now we could actually cheese him. I just thought of a strategy, <laughs> actually, that we could cheese him with here, uh, but we we won't. All right, let's drop a save. Let's just save it up here. Uh, right. What do we have? What do we need? What do we want? Uh, yeah, we only need the enhanced handgun. The enhanced handgun like trashes him it really does it's uh, it's kind of sad in a way you know uh, we will take that as like a backup just in case all right let's go just in case we need the F8 sprays I don't think we will uh, yeah we're gonna have to come back here anyway so it's fine Because we should get the shotgun part from him. We may run away. Then come back. Yeah, we got crows here, I think. Yeah, crows. Right, so he's going to be in here. Now, the handgun um, is like the easiest weapon to dodge with. Again, you know, I'm 
not an expert at the dodge. Uh, I think probably lucky is better Stars. way of putting it. Stars. Yes, come on, you big bellend. Now, unfortunately, he's going to run, and there's nowhere I can really avoid him. Yeah, see, th that's what we call cheap. Nemi. Right. It's just, now you can see the enhanced, yeah, we got nowhere to dodge to there. That's the trouble. The enhanced handgun rounds actually stun him, which is actually nice. Yeah, the dodge, the dodge gods aren't really being overly kind to us. Come on. Right, we need health. See what I mean? Look, he's already down. Already down. Uh, yeah, we will eat that heal. That was a waste. Didn't want to do that. Right, let's try and finish him off. Come on, baby. Ah! Took that one on the chin. Shit. And because I reloaded there, Nemi got a nice little free hit on us. Because he's a goit. And couldn't quite get past his arm there either. Come on. Get off me. There you go. Um, Jill, do you want to get your gun out? Maybe? I think we might be dead here. No, we're okay. Yep, took him out in the last shot, but we are in danger. Stars. So, yeah, I mean, there you go. There's a kind of legitimate way of defeating him. That was not fantastic, though. But all it really cost us was, oh, God, wouldn't this suck if we get, like, nibbled to death by bloody crows on the way back? That would be pretty unfortunate. <sighs> yeah, that that absolutely could have done better, uh, gone better. But as you can see, though, if you have two heals, uh, especially if you've got the enhanced ammo, like it's really like easy to take him out. And if you look at how many heals we actually do have, uh, it's a lot, you know. Okay, so let's get our enhanced shotgun. Because now, that will be, the Western Custom will be used with the enhanced, uh, the standard rounds. And I guess we can just whiff that off. And now we can use this shotgun for our decent stuff. A little bit like that. Now, I think we might actually have to use an F8 spray here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we're not uh, going for rank anyway, so I guess it's fine. Now, I believe... Now, once we've popped the cork, if we've used one F8 spray, we might as well use them all. There we go. Okay, fine. It, unfortunately, is what it is. Now, when I did that yesterday, when I was pissing around, uh, I actually only had to use one healing item on him. Uh, we call that Sod's Law. Probably don't need the handgun on me, but it's fine. Yeah, we call that Sod's Law. In fact, I could absolutely reload that and do better, but it just seems a bit pointless, to be honest. But yeah, so now, like, unlike in the remake, now we've actually defeated Nemesis. Like, he won't come back until his next, um, you know, his next point in the game where he's supposed to, his next story trigger. Whereas, obviously, if you've played the remake, ah, uh, yeah, Nemesis doesn't stop coming. <laughs> like, unless you get to a certain point in the game, you know, kind of like Mr. X in RE2. You can kind of like put him down for a minute or two, but you can't actually stop him. And I'll tell you what, I actually prefer the way Nemesis is in this game. 
I absolutely prefer the way uh, Nemesis is in this in this game. Things are definitely getting a little bit unstable around here, aren't they? Oh, I can't believe I had to use an FH spray in this game. Ugh. Unbelievable. You alright, Joe? You good? Yeah, let's just stare at this wall. Hmm. I wonder what could be coming. Yeah. Hey, friend. It's your friendly neighborhood grave digger. He's a bit of a penis. There we go. Now, you can actually fight him and kill him here. Well, you can't kill him because you got to do him in later. But there's no point in fighting him here. Because you still have to fight him later. And, like, you know, he's not exactly difficult to sort out here either. Alright, let's go up the ladder. Okay, alright, we're just about ready to leave, and this is where I go into my inventory and I realise I've forgotten everything that we needed. Okay, luckily I've not been that stupid this time. Now I believe we only have to drop Nemesis one more time, because, or is it two more times? I think if we drop him again we get another load of F-8 sprays. Oh no! And if we drop him again after that, we get the assault rifle because this is, quote, our first playthrough. If we were playing this game a second, third, fourth time, uh, instead of dropping the assault rifle, he would drop unlimited ammo, which you can use for one weapon. I think, anyway. Maybe it's the assault rifle next. I can't remember. I actually think, as well, they penalize you for using the assault rifle. Even though it's such a fun weapon. It looks like we're ready to go. Here, take this. Thanks for the flame rounds, boss. Okay. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. No. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. No, Nikolai won't be joining us. He's off um, sucking a cock somewhere, I guess. No. Don't come. Any closer. Stay away. Alright, Nick Mikhail. Chill out, dude. I'm I'm sure we're we're all gonna get out of this together. Yes. I'm sure that's what's gonna happen. It's looking good. Oh, you didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? Right, let's go see what's happening with Mikhail. Mikhail! Hey, buddy. Yeah, fuck this noise, we're out. Get out of the cable car now! Mikhail, wait, don't! Get out of here! Hurry! Now I believe you can actually take him out there, and if you do take him out there, he becomes mutated and a lot harder later on. But either way, Mikhail dies anyway, so... I love that. You lose! Does he though? Does he? No, the brakes are out. Uh oh. So we've got an option here. We're going to jump out the window. It's useless. No! <laughs> I love that. It's useless. Straight out the window. No fucks given. Now, if we jump straight out of the window like that, um, Carlos is going to give us freeze rounds. So, you know, that's, that's, uh, 
That's what we're going to do. Jill sounds like she's having oh. way too much fun there. Alright. So here we are. The next stage of the game. The clock tower. Which was like completely absent from the remake. The clock tower. Which... Uh, I... I, um, I, I don't know. The remake of 3 was so weird. Uh, oh, hey friend. Get the fuck out of here. Snuck up on me a little bit too quick. Alright, let's take these shit bags out. Someone's been watching way too much uh, Terminator 2. Hang oh, how did you... Actually, can someone even watch too much Terminator 2? I don't think they can. Yeah, so the... I mean, the rub with this shotgun, as far as I know, it's just faster. It's... Uh, it fires significantly faster than the uh, standard shotgun. But uh, whether it's more powerful or not, I don't know. Okay. I couldn't tell you. I'll actually look that up in a minute. Alright, so there's our clock tower t uh, key. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything back here. Like, in the burning wreckage. Oh god. Resist the urge to break out into song. Beyond the burning skies. The battle beast. Yeah, we've we've made some serious um, some serious damage here. We're just gonna <clears throat> walk out like we've done nothing. Now, here we go, the clock tower. This area is so cool. Like, I don't know why they cut this from Resident Evil 3. Uh, I think, I think they just, you know, suck. Because here's the thing, as I've said many, many times, I enjoyed Resident Evil 3, uh, the remake. I thought it was all right. Was it perfect? No. Was it a solid fun time? Yes. Was Jill awesome? Yes. Um, yeah, I, I, I had a good time with that. But that, I've enjoyed all the re like, even the very controversial, I shall say, Resident Evil 6. Even that is still a good time, you know? So we've got like 33 more enhanced shotgun shells. Which isn't too shabby now, is it? Uh, we have 34. Uh, we'll put the gun... Yeah, we'll put that back. Put that back. Let's go put these grenade rounds back. We don't need that at the moment. I guess we could... We don't need both shotguns, do we? Not really. Uh, anyway, guys, that's going to have to do it for now. Uh, when we come back, we are going to continue exploring this area. And we should save it there, really. I, always forget, I wish you could delete save states, but you apparently can't. Maybe one day. Well, actually, you can by going into the file system, but you can't delete. You've got load save. There should be a delete, I think. But then maybe that would lead to a bad time if you misclick. Hmm. Anyway, yes, so we'll explore the rest of the clock tower later. Um, and, you know, even shit Resident Evil games, like, you know, objectively, or should I say factually shit Resident Evil games, like Gun Survivor Veronica. It's still a fun time you know i still enjoy playing the game i still get something out of it so yeah mm. anyway thanks for watching guys and as always till next time